Sometimes you need to add different time values together to get a total. Or you need to subtract one time value from another to get the total time spent working on a project. For example, to find the total number of work hours on day one, use the sum function. Enter your hours and minutes in a hour minute format in column B. Use the sum function to calculate the total work hours. If the work hours add up to more than 24, then you need to apply a special format for the formula result cell with square brackets for hours. Square brackets tells Excel that hour is a duration, not an Excel time. For example, total hours for day 2 is more than 24 hours. Open Format Cells dialog box, select Custom, in the Type box type H in square brackets colon mm, then click on OK. You can also format them as decimal time. On the Number tab, select Number and two decimal places. Multiply the value by 24, we get the decimal hours. In some cases, you may want to add or subtract a set number of hours and minutes to an existing time value. In these situations, you can use the time function. The time function allows you to build a time value on the fly using the three arguments, hour, minute and second. To add a certain number of hours to an existing time value, simply use the time function to build a new time value and then add them together. This formula adds 8 hours to the existing time. To add 30 minutes, use this formula. You can also subtract time using the time function. There is another simple method you can use to add hours, minutes and seconds to a given time interval. One day is 24 hours, one hour is 60 minutes, one minute is 60 seconds. So one hour is 1 by 24, one minute is 1 by 1440, one second is 1 by 86,400. Divide the number of hours, minutes or seconds you want to add by the number of corresponding unit in a day then add the quotient to the time. For example, we have a number n in column B. To add n number of hours, divide n by 24. To add n number of minutes, divide by 1440. To add n number of seconds, divide by 86,400. To subtract times in Excel, use the same formulas but with the minus sign instead of plus. If you have decimal time and you need to add hours or minutes, you can use the same formulas. For example, to add minutes, use this formula. 30 minutes is 0.5 hours, so we get 17.9. To download example Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.